Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2020 video. Today I'm actually going to be starting a new series. I realized while I was streaming the other day that my ranking is like really, really bad, and that's because I haven't taken it seriously for a while. But with everything being closed due to you know what, uh, and me needing to put out more content in order to stay afloat considering my job is closed, I decided that I would start a daily laddering series to not only improve my skill at the game, uh, and also just to like stay updated with what's current because I need to continue with that um, But also to just give you guys some more daily content because like wow like I have not posted enough content But yeah today we're gonna be using a GMAX toxicity team that I built with my buddy Yoku and then I tweaked it a little bit It also has GMAX Corviknight to deal with uh, GMAX Lapras teams The code for the team will be in the description down below if you guys want to use it uh, But yeah also uh, update on the Grim Snarl video essay that's coming out the analysis that I'm going to push until this Friday because I want to get it on a schedule. I want to release them every Friday and I want you guys to like, you know, get hyped for them, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this table in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Let's try to reach 100 likes in this video. It would really help me out. It would help the algorithm boost my video. Boost. It would help the, al it would help the algorithm boost my videos uh, so I can actually like, you know, make money off of this while this entire thing's going on because I kind of need to. College is not cheap. Or you can support me on Patreon. Either one, I really appreciate all of you guys. Um, I'm going to be live streaming every weekday at 5:30 from now on. Cause again, no job, no job. So uh, you guys can have you guys can catch me there. But let's go ahead and get into this. I got two warm up games, and uh, they did not go well. They did not go well, and that's just because I don't practice enough, to be honest. I need to get better at this game. Uh, ever since they canceled everything, I was like, okay, I don't even want to practice that much. That annoys me, but. There are still places to play Pokemon, online tournaments and stuff. If you guys want to see a video talking about how you can still practice Pokemon despite this happening, uh, let me know. I'll make a video about it. But yeah, um, also, common question of the day. What Pokemon do you struggle the most with in Series 3? Like, what is the hardest Pokemon for you to beat? Because a lot of people have been telling me Lapras, but I just don't see it. I don't really see it being an issue. Also, Lapras. Corviknight. Good game. <laughs> Alright, I need to be careful, though, with uh, Raichu here. I need to be really careful with Raichu. I'm thinking I can lead off. Huh. I like the Incineroar lead. I like Toxtricity in the back. It actually does a lot of damage to his team. And I'm thinking Whimsicott. I, I actually feel really comfortable with that. I'm just going to go with that. I'm not going to think twice about it. For all I know, I could think a lot more about it. For all I know, I'm not thinking enough. I might not be thinking at all, to be honest. I just chose those four Pokemon because they look cool. I don't play Pokemon. I don't know anything. But yeah, no, I'm actually going to try to go hard on Twitch and stuff. Uh, try to be an actual content creator because I need to make content, guys. It's the only thing that's going to keep me sane during, during this entire thing. Also, the gyms are closed. It's so weird not having the gym be open because I've been trying to lose weight again. Last year, I lost like 40 pounds, gained it all back at the beginning of this year. And it's hard just not having a gym. I bought these 30 pound dumbbells uh, because I felt like 30 pounds was a nice median weight where I can do just about every exercise I need to with them. The only thing is like, you know, I have to increase workout volume. So where I would do like sets of 15 with 75 pound dumbbells for shrugs now i have to do like sets of 25 with the 30s <laughs> all right so that's actually a really really solid lead for me um i'm thinking here he should probably fake out into the corviknight so i'm just gonna protect and yeah i'm just gonna protect here and i'm gonna attempt to break a sash on this bad boy or should i just parting shot out let me think Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fake out on the Raichu for damage. I want I want to break a sash. I really do. And Raichu is like the biggest issue against this team. As he goes for the Dynamax, most likely on that Togekiss. Let's hope it's not Crit Kiss. But if you're Dynamaxing a Togekiss, it's either Weakness Policy or Crit most of the time. Let's see. You could also just fake out my Incineroar, but I wouldn't be too bothered by that. Here's my Protect. Here's the Fake Out, and it's into Incineroar. Oh well. 
Max Airstream into Incineroar. You crit kiss. That was not a crit, but I wouldn't be surprised if you were a crit kiss. I'd really appreciate it if you weren't, though, to be honest. Um, here. I'm gonna go hard Whimsicott. And... Do I want Toxtricity now? I think I should keep Toxtricity for the endgame. I'm going to attempt to uh, just Flare Blitz into that Raichu then. Yeah, the reason I want to go for a Flare Blitz here is because if I land it, I'm probably KOing the Raichu. Uh, but I I'm more than likely about to lose my Incineroar. Whimsicott uh, will allow me to get a Tailwind off. I really hope he didn't just double into my Whimsicott with like max with like a max heat wave or whatever. That'd be really annoying. All right, there's the Incineroar. Yeah, that's tough. That is tough. I got absolutely nothing out of this turn and I am very prone to losing my Whimsicott. Max Airstream. Do I need a G-Max Tox right now if I want to win? I don't like that. I don't like that I have to G-Max Tox. It looks like it's my best bet, though. Uh, I could paralyze something. So yeah, I have to G-Max Tox immediately. Or maybe not. Um, I want to go for the max electric move, but I know Raichu can come in and just mess up my day. But I don't see Raichu coming in right here when he could get the free KO on Whimsicott. I'm still going to go hard Corviknight, though. I'm going to attempt to get a status off would you max stun shock on the Togekiss? If the Raichu comes out, wow. Okay, I'm I'm just I, I'm just really bad now. But uh, I could have just gone for the max the max ooze for the plus one. But yeah, I, I want to get as much damage as I can right now. Let's see what he goes for. Alright, I'm switching first. I believe his entire team is faster than me. So, it means he probably didn't switch. Alright, nice. He didn't switch. I'm good. Unless he U-turned. If he U-turns out into Raichu right now, I'm going to be so upset with myself. But if I can land this Paralysis on the Togekiss, I'm in a decent spot. It is 50-50 though, whether or not I get the Paralysis. Because it's Paralysis or Poison. There's the fake out, beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. He's probably gonna airstream. Oh no, max flare. That's still not good, because it can crit. All right, that looked like a normal one. And his Gigantamax has ended. Here's my stun shot, come on baby, big damage. All right, we're doing roughly half. If I can get the paralysis, that'd be so good. Nice, nice, nice. How about you, Incineroar? Poison? That's better. That's better, to be honest. Um, let me think. I can go for my max, uh, my ax acid, max acid, uh, my max, I always want to say acid downpour, because that's what it used to be called. I, I can go for my max move here, the, um, why can't I think of the move? Here, let me body press the Incineroar. I'm probably going to lose my Corviknight. But I can go for my Max Ooze onto the Togekiss slot. And this is uh, exclusively because I'm concerned about Raichu coming in. And if Raichu comes in, then I caught him. I'm in a good spot. I'm in a decent spot. Uh, and <laughs> I'm really hoping that the Raichu comes in for the Incineroar. Because that means that I'm pretty safe. Nice. Okay, so there, there's the Raichu. I need to get a Tailwind up to win, 100%. My Max Ooze goes off. Beautiful. The next one should KO. As he goes for his Flare Blitz. And here I'm... I know that I'm faster than the... Uh, was it? I know that I'm faster than the Incineroar with my Toxtricity. 
So what I could do here is go for a max ooze into the incineroar slot and attempt a tailwind. Because if I, if I get a tailwind up, I'm in a really good spot. Like a seriously good spot. I need to get rid of incineroar though. Because he's just going to fake out. Do I go for max strike? I think max ooze does more. You think? I don't know. Let me think. So max strike is 140 base power non-stab. Max ooze with stab is... Um, 90, 135. So max strike is technically stronger. And it would slow down the Raichu. I think I have to max strike here. Which is kind of annoying. We'll go for it. He's going to fake out. Come on, baby. I need this max strike to KO. At the very least, I make everything slower than me. Ah, we just miss out. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna get my tailwind off. I'm not gonna get my tailwind off, but I could go for a boom burst next turn and it's gonna be really strong. Because the Raichu's now slower than me. And I'm probably faster than the uh than the Togekiss. There's the flare blitz. He's likely going to be in range where boom burst KOs. I really want to be in range where boom burst KOs because um yeah, yeah, I get a Boom Burst off this turn, and then I get my Throat Spray. And as long as I'm faster than, like, everything else, I'm not in a terrible spot. I need this comeback, man. Alright, I go for the Boom Burst. And I'm thinking I just KO everything on the field. There's no way Raichu lives this if it's, like... Let me think. Has it gone for anything status-wise? I think it's, it's just Focus Sash. It could be Assault Vest, though. If it's Assault Vest, I'm a little scared, but I'm hoping you're just... You know, standard, standard set. Out comes the Lapras. Okay, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. Because I get my Thread Spray off. And we're doing, like, half to Lapras, so it goes down next turn 100%. Hopefully he's not, like, Eerie Impulse, because that would actually mess me up quite a bit. I think everything's in Boom Burst range. Yeah, I just spam Boom Burst for the rest of the game. But I have to protect here on the fake out. He should be going for probably just like Freeze Dry. This is a really, really close game. <laughs> I need this comeback, man. I really need this comeback. Come on, baby. <laughs> just fake out. Don't have don't have eerie impulse. I know eerie impulse is like a really good move on Raichu, but just don't have it, man. It's not that hard. Just don't carry it. Maybe your brick break Raichu. Tell me your brick break. Because your fake out, volt switch, and two more moves. Surf. <sighs> That's concerning. That is extremely concerning. And I don't like that you clicked that move. All right, he's freeze dry. I can still win. I just have to be because I can definitely beat Lapras. I just have to be faster than the um, faster than the Togekiss, and I win. Because I shouldn't die to Surf. I go for my Boom Burst here. It's gonna be huge damage. Maybe I can score a crit. Maybe I'll get lucky. There's the Surf. He's gonna get some decent damage off against me. I just have to take this plus one more hit. Tell me I can take a freeze dry. Tell me I can take a freeze dry and that I'm faster than that Togekiss. Don't you dare freeze me either, man. Okay, I took it. I didn't get frozen. I just need to be faster. I just have to be faster. That's all it takes. Oh no, I'm always faster because it's paralyzed. I won. I won. We did it, boys. Overdrive time. Toxtricity comeback. He made the thumbnail. Toxtricity is in the thumbnail now. That's just insane. That That's just... I'm really happy about that. Overdrive. Bam. Get him out of here. Yeah, the, uh... 
The max strike was definitely the play that won that. It was 100% that max strike. Okay. Solid. Solid game. It took a while, too. That was like 15 minutes. Not interested. <laughs> Alright, we'll continue battling. Yeah, Surf is actually a really cool tech, because it would heal that... Because it healed up the, the Water Absorb on the uh, on the Lapras. That was actually really cool. Alright. Let's see what we're facing here. Jolo. Ooh, okay, so we got Kingler action. I'm actually going to have a Kingler video coming out tomorrow if you guys want to see that. That's it's it's really fun. <laughs> All right. Um Let me think here. It looks like he definitely wants to bring Kingler Raichu in the lead. A little bit concerned about Sableye. Um I really like Dragapult this game cuz I can get a Will-O-Wisp off on the Kingler and just neuter its damage forever. Yeah, that's actually really solid. Um we're going to lead off this way. whim has got Dragapult. Maybe not. Um, Because he's going to fake out the Wimps count and break my Sash anyways. We'll go Wim Tox. Or we'll go Dragapult Tox. Orvanite in the back because it deals with a lot of his other Pokemon pretty well. And probably Wimps got because I want to be fast. All right. And he's just facing the other way. <laughs> he's just not looking at me. Okay, King of the Raichu predicted the lead correctly. Dragapult Toxtricity. I get a free... You're... Listen to what I'm saying. I get a free Will-O-Wisp here. I go for my Will-O-Wisp. You should definitely be targeting down the uh, Toxtricity. And... You might high horsepower. I'm, I'm just going to go into Whimsicott, because I get a Tailwind next turn then. wonder if he's Assault Vest Kingler. It makes sense. Alright. Yeah, I feel like he's just gonna go ahead and fake out the Toxtricity here. But he's, he's gonna end up catching the Wimpscat. I don't mind losing my Sash, though. Because I should be able to get the Tailwind off regardless. As he Dynamaxes, we're gonna see Big Kingler here. Alright. Big Kingler time. And I believe I'm clear body Dragapult, so I sh shouldn't really care about the speed drop. There's my Will O Wisp. I actually land it, which is amazing. And he just goes for the nuzzle. That's actually devastating, to be honest. Yikes. I might be Infiltrator Dragapult, but I think I'm clear body. It's not going to be doing much to anything. I can still be faster than that Kingler, though. But we should definitely focus down the uh, the Raichu. Here, I think I want to... Wait, am I clear body? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I'm clear body. So I'm still faster than the... I'm not faster yet. Um, I have to protect here. And Tailwind. Yeah. Or actually, I'm going to protect and I'm going to fake tears. And the next turn, I can tailwind and just KO that thing, I think. Because I want to force him out. There's the Volt Switch. Okay. So this turn was a waste. <laughs> I can still Tailwind, though. I don't think he can KO me. And 
In comes the Chandelure. That isn't the worst. Foam Burst into Dragapult. Not going to accomplish much. He could Trick Room, but that would actually only help me out. I think here I want to just Fake Tears and Hex. I'm just really concerned about that Raichu in the back, but I'm not I'm not terribly concerned. Is it even worth it? I'm just going to Tailwind. No, I get more from Tailwinding. I don't need to Fake Tears yet. Because then I'm faster than the Chandelure. And it's not like Kingler's doing anything anymore. And I still have the Boom Burst sweeping option. Alright, Tailwind's up. I get my Hex off. Probably gonna bring it down to Sash. Oh no, he's not even Sash. Okay. I'm not sure what he was then. <laughs> That's kind of strange. Max Knuckle. Gonna try to boost his attack a bit. But I don't think it matters too much. He's gonna take a lot from this Hex next turn because I'm still faster than him. Also, he's Life Orb. I should have noticed that earlier. He was Life Orb. So yeah, I think the Hex just KOs him. <laughs> yeah, he just gets KO'd by Hex. Alright, in comes the Raichu. Raichu can't do anything. He's going to get Hexed, and I'm going to win. We're going to do this. I'm going to Hex into the Kingler. And I'm going to attempt to Moonblast the Raichu because I don't... I just want to break a Sash now. He might be AV Raichu. No, he's, he's probably Sash Raichu because he wasn't Sash Chandelure. I figured he'd be AG, uh, AV Raichu if he had Sash on the Chandelure. But no, I have no idea what item he is. Alright. Come on, bud. Pick your move. I mean, he could switch into something like... Oh, he's just going to protect. Yeah, that, that doesn't matter too much. As he goes for the fake out and gains nothing. I still just do what I did this turn. Because, like, yeah, I don't think he has any ghost immunities. I can double check, but I think he just... He should let Kingler go down here. Let me double check. Yeah, he's got no ghost immunity. I'm just gonna go for this. Moonblast, because, yeah, like, my Toxtricity just sweeps at this point. There's the Hex for the KO. Beautiful. Volt Tackle, okay. Now that's interesting, I haven't seen that yet. What is that for? Probably just for big damage on Lapras? Because it's got better... I mean, because they tend to run more special defense, I think. I don't know. He just lost, though. So I'm fine. Alright, in comes Gudra. Um, I should always fake tears this thing. And... We'll just delete the Raichu with my last turn. Fake tears here. And then G-Max Tox just has its way with this entire team. Okay, you are no longer an issue. You're probably Assault Vest anyways. Dragon Ball can't move. I don't really mind that too much. There's the Volt Switch for the KO. Not really an issue. Flamethrower, okay. I don't know, the deed's already done. I'm pretty sure I just won. Because I've got the Corv, got the Tox. Corviknight should be able to just beat this uh, this Gudra on its own. Because I'm super special defensive, and Gudra's like, special attack's respectable, but not that great. 
considering how much you have to run on it defensively. All right, I think I just protect the Corviknight here and Boom Burst up. A little bit concerned about Draco Meteor, actually. But I think I should be fine. Worst case scenario, I just G-Max Corv. Connection with the other trainer is interrupted. Okay, they just disconnect. Incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. That counts as a win, though. We'll take it. I'm going to get one more battle for today. Yeah, I would have won anyways with Boom Burst. Continue battling. Beautiful. We're making slight improvements every day. That's going to go a lot higher. <laughs> it's going to go a lot higher by the end of the next battle. Because it doesn't actually update if they disconnect until the end of the next one. What time is it? 4.13? Beautiful. All right. I'm still really happy about that first game, to be honest. That first game was really, really nice. All right. Phase Prude. Or Phase Prude. I was reading it as, like, Prelude at first. And that is a Stone Jenner. Okay. We're going to have to face Dolman here. Um, he does have a Lightning Rod user, but overall GMAX Tox looks disgusting versus his team. Yeah, I like it quite a bit. Hmm. Corvinet looks really good too. I'm thinking we just go Tox Whim. Corvinite. And do I want Dragapult in the back? I mean, Dragapult doesn't have a great time versus Sylveon or anything. I think I should just go Incineroar, considering how good of a matchup Incineroar has here. We'll do that. We'll do that. But I would I would have enjoyed being able to spam uh, Will-O-Wisp with Incineroar here. Or with um with Dragapult. But we can always just take the uh we can always just take the other option with the uh Intimidate. And the parting shots. Like that that could be useful anyways. Okay. Alright, that's actually really, really good. I get a free Tailwind off. I have to be careful, though. One of these guys definitely has, uh, like, Earthquake or something. I'm thinking it's in my best interest here to go hard Corviknight. And Tailwind up. I might actually have to go G-Max Corviknight for this game. Alright, as he protects that bad boy, uh, and I get my Tailwind off. Let me think. I, I'm really not too concerned about Corviknight in this game. As he goes for Rock Slide, like, I can... Yeah, I can just steel spike into that uh, into that dolmen over there. I, I'm so used to calling it dolmen now. That's like the French name. It's because of a meme we have on my Twitch chat. Uh, that like I, I can actually just confidently just use Corviknight to win this entire game. Like he has a terrible Corviknight matchup. Look at it. What is this Corviknight matchup? Rotom Wash or Rotom uh, Rotom Mo? Nah, I don't care. We're gonna Dynamax here. I'm gonna steel spike into Humanolith and um, I suppose we can Moonblast as well. Because the Moonblast will go first, we'll get huge damage, and then the Steel Spike will KO. Alright, so we get a G-Max Corv here. I get my Moonblast off for what I assume to be some pretty major damage. Yep. And then we get a super effective max steel spike. I'd be surprised if this doesn't KO. Yep. Okay, cool. Now we're at plus one defense. 
Uh, he no longer has his power spot, so he's not going to be doing quite as much to us with that rock slide. And he should be pretty threatened by this Corviknight now. I'm actually hoping that I lose the uh, I lose the Whimsicott here because that means that I get my I get my Toxtricity in for free, which can protect this Corviknight. Because I can throw a Sludge Bomb off on whatever wants to come in. So I'll go ahead and I'll go Toxtricity. Beautiful. Let's see if he brought the Rotom. What are you? No, it's Togedemaru. Okay. I'm perfectly fine with that once again. Uh, we'll just Max Steel Spike into you now. Uh, because I don't want to give that thing a weakness policy or anything. And I'm thinking we go hard in Cinderor. Yeah, I really don't want to give that thing a weakness policy. So I have to play this really carefully. Alright, he's now effectively at minus two. He's about to be at minus three because I'm going to get a defense boost. Let's see if he nuzzles. Heavy Ball, I'm assuming that's the Tyranitar. I can just parting shot on it next turn. No, okay. Togedemaru. I think I still parting shot you. I haven't seen anyone Dynamax a Togedemaru like ever. But now I feel much, much, much more comfortable going for a... Uh, <laughs> going for my uh, body press into that Tyranitar next turn. As he goes for the Rock Slide, he's going to be doing, like, no damage at all. <laughs> Alright, and now we're going to have to take a Max Lightning. Stab. Wow, that does a lot. Critical hit? Yeah, I figured. I was like, there's no way you do that much damage without a crit. Alright, I believe it's in my best interest here to... How many turns of Tailwind are there? I have one more turn of Tailwind. I believe I should max guard... No, because I'm going to be slower next turn. I should just Steel Spike into you? Maybe? Yikes, this is actually really tough. I'm going to Steel Spike into you. And parting shot. Actually, nah, screw it. We have a tailwind up. I'll max knuckle like a man. And I'm gonna flare blitz. He's gonna withdraw. Beautiful. He sends in the Charizard. Get my max knuckle off. And then I'm going to get a really strong Flare Blitz. Let's see how much this does. <laughs> we just get the KO. Beautiful. How much recoil are we taking? Wow, okay, sand damage. Can you give me my can you give me my thing? Alright, cool. I got my berry. Alright. Uh, I believe 100% I have to protect here in parting shot. I have to parting shot onto the Charizard. And then knock it out with Toxtricity. So I protect here, I parting shot, and hopefully don't get KO'd by a faster, uh, by a faster Despotar, Tyranitar. I gotta play this really carefully. Alright, here's my Protect. 
Earthquake. All right, I should be able to tank that, I think. Yeah, okay, I tank it on Incineroar. Hopefully it just goes for like a Flare, not Flare, but it's a Flamethrower into Corviknight. Yep. I get out for free. And then I send in my Toxtricity. He should protect his Charizard this turn, because it's at minus one. I get a little bit more leftovers recovery on my on my Corviknight now. It 100% comes down to being able to body press that Tyranitar. I send in the Incineroar to get it at minus one. And then I protect here. I'm hoping he protects his uh his Charizard here. Alright, it looks like he didn't protect the Charizard. I can still get an overdrive off though. There's the Earthquake. This Earthquake is faster than the Charizard. That's really interesting. That's like a super bulky, super, super bulky Charizard. Unless he went for like a negative one priority move, like Roar. Flamethrower. No, that's just a really slow Charizard. Or a really fast. Is that Scarf Tyranitar? Don't tell me that's Scarf Tyranitar, dude. Don't tell me that's Scarf Tyranitar. Yikes. Okay. Um, I suppose this is still our only chance. I have to protect here. And overdrive. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Tell me that's not Scarf Tar. I might have been able to recognize it earlier had I been paying attention, but I think I wasn't paying enough attention. Alright, Toxtricity, it was nice knowing you. Good game. <laughs> wow, okay, so Scarf Tyranitar just nanate on me. Good game, man. Alright. So it looks like it's two wins, one loss for today. Wow, Scarf Tyranitar. Let me think, how could I have played that out then? I don't know. Um, I think maybe had I kept the Incineroar in, you know what, my only out would have been to have parting shot it on the, uh, parting shot it on the Tyranitar with my Incineroar. That was my only out. All right. Oh, although that, that was actually a really, really cool team. Well, if you guys enjoyed this session, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, leave a like, comment, whatever you want to. Um, answer my comment question of the day, actually. Uh, and subscribe for Pokemon content. But with that, I'm going to call, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Have a nice night. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.